turn on office fan. Hey, what's up? This is Reed with Smart Home Solver, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bond. Nope, not that Bond. This Bond, it controls your IR and RF fans and other devices around your house. And when I heard about Bond, I was really excited because I love devices like this that take your existing home devices and make them smart without being too expensive or being really hard to set up. Let's take a look and see how to use this and how to set it up. So in the box, it's pretty simple. They just have the Bond device and a micro USB for power. The device itself looks pretty sleek. The only thing is that the top kind of collects quite a bit of dust and it only comes in black, which isn't a big deal because this thing can be placed really anywhere in your house. When setting this up, it's pretty easy. You can use the iOS or Android app. We tried out both of them. They both work pretty good. It will walk you through the steps to set up your first fan. All you have to do is get your fan remote, point it at the Bond device when it prompts you to. It will read the code and it will connect your fan right away. It will give you a prompt of what fan functionality it thinks your fan has. And for ours, it guessed it right. You could start using the fan right away. So I did run into a few little quirks using the app though. When I first connected our fan, it had two different dimmer buttons. And our light, you just hold down the light button and if you hold it down, it will dim the light. I pressed one of them and held it down and it just turned the light on and off and so I just didn't think it worked, but the other dimmer button did work. If I held that one down, it worked. So one of them didn't work and one of them did. You can edit the buttons, and so you can just delete it, really not a big deal. So the second little quirk that I ran into is when I connected it to Alexa. When I named the device Office Fan, and I expected it to be Office Fan, you know, you control the fan blades, and Office Fan Light, to turn the light on and off. Well, when I connected it to Alexa, it just said office light is what it gave the device name as. If you do use the word fan in it, know that it might remove that and put in light when it's connecting to Alexa. Turn on office light. Okay. Turn on office fan. Okay. Office fan 100%. Okay. Even though we don't show it working in this video so that we can keep the video short, the Bond does work with Google Assistant. I was really impressed with how many devices I was able to connect to the Bond. So we have five RF fans around our house. And for some reason, I was only thinking it could control the one in the room that it was in. It can actually control all of them around our house. So. It can go through walls and multiple walls to control the fans and the lights of those fans. And the reason it can control things far away inside the house is that it uses RF or radio frequency, meaning that it uses a low frequency and it can travel further. So there are some alternatives to the Bond. We use Haiku, which we've made a video about before, and we really do like our Haiku. It is pricey, so Bond does fit the need of you know controlling more fans at a lower price point. You can also get smart switches. The only problem with that though is you have to do one for each room and that can add up. You can just use one Bond device to control multiple fans which can save you actually a little bit of money. So one of the things that is already compatible with Bond is if this then that. And this is great because if you have a smart thermostat like Ness or Ecobee you can have it turn, automatically turn on your fans using Bond if it reaches a certain temperature on your thermostat. That way it can save you money because it's cheaper to run the fans than the AC unit. You can also, if it reaches a certain temperature outside, it can trigger the Bond to turn on the fans around your house. One thing that Bond is gonna be soon compatible with is smart things. So that'll be pretty exciting because you can use like a motion sensor in a room with a fan connected to Bond, and if you walk in the room, it will be able to trigger the fan. The one thing to note when automating things with Bond is that it will be able to easily 
turn on and off your fan with automation, but the light, because usually most fans, the light, the on and off button is the same one, that it won't be able to know if the fan light is on or off. So say you wanted your fan light to turn on at six o'clock or when the sun goes down, if the light was already on, the bond wouldn't know that it would turn the light off at that time. You can still use the bond remotely. So if you're out and about away from your house, you can turn on your fans or lights. Let us know if there was anything else you wanted to ask or any questions you had down in the comments. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to our channel. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, with so many ways to turn on the fan, it's making it hard to choose.